go lucky person. I really am. Like, it's like, it takes a lot to piss me off, right? But I would be lying to y'all if I did not tell y'all how disappointed I am in the world. Like, coming up as a little kid, right? I grew up in the church. When I tell you I had to be in the church, if if it was open Monday through Sunday and my grandma was living, she was going to have me attending. Like, I done been to the church business meeting. It ain't no business that a child need to be at business meeting. I mean, it wasn't nothing I understood going on. I was at the usher board meeting or whatever. I was at the church house sometime when nobody had to be at the church house. It was kind of bad, but not as bad. Because I know some people, it was worse for them, honey. They was in the church house every time the doors opened. But I was, like, right behind them. So I ain't going to front. My grandma ain't played it. So check it out. So I'm growing up, and I'm listening to the Sunday school teachings. And I'm listening to the sermons. And different things was, is being uh, deposited in my spirit. Keep this in mind now. So as you grow, as you're a child, you really don't understand much that's going on. But every now and then, a lesson is going to come across that you're going to be able to relate to and be like, okay, you know, bam, I need to keep that. So as I'm growing up doing this, right, and the people in the church around me doing the same thing, right, I'm looking on TV because we got to keep in mind now, the majority of people grew, is Christian. You know what I'm saying? If you grew up in church, even if you ain't go to church, most people will is going to tell you they're Christian. Even if they ain't never been in church, they'll tell you what the family history is of them being a Christian. They ain't going to say, well, most of my family Christian and I don't go to church. They just going to say they, they Christian. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm talking about this. That's the majority. So in my mind, I'm thinking if this high will happen for me, this how it happened for everybody. Like every now and then, something is being deposited in there that I'm going to like keep in my mind and, and know. Like, do unto others as you will want done to you. Well, that made sense to me. Why would I go out there and plot some tragedy for somebody else and I would want somebody to feel bad for me if it happened to me? So why would I wish that on them? Like, that made sense in my mind. So I'm thinking everybody else's mind, it makes sense in theirs too, right? I'm thinking like, uh, don't put no other God before me, meaning I understood don't put like exalt some over things that is godly. I understood that. So that means that I'm not going to put uh, a shoe over somebody else's life when I could get another shoe. Like I understood that as a child. That's what that meant. Like, don't, you know, if I'm supposed to die, what would Jesus do? And y'all showing me this is a compassionate person. This is what you're saying that Jesus is love. So I'm thinking if we here associating with that, then we supposed to emulate who? Jesus, which is love. So we show love to our brothers and sisters, which that's what we was learning in vacation Bible school coming up. Okay. So I'm thinking everybody on that. Try to get to my big age <laughs> to wake up to the realization the majority of people who say that ain't on that at all they on the exact opposite y'all that's mind blowing can you imagine how disappointing of a feeling that is to an inner child it is sending into PTSD because all along you thought everybody was playing by the same rules well I'm here to tell y'all and if this gets to one person and help you to open your eyes to see half of the rules that people tell you they playing by they not they playing by the total opposite rules you understand me and the harder they try to convince you that they playing by the playing by the rules is the hardest you need to recognize that's not what they doing at all people is out here playing real dirty y'all when i say dirty 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 they got all these different type of collaborations going on and and you know what i'm gonna speak on this right quick that rap beat rap beef is spiritual warfare i just want y'all to recognize that okay pay attention what is these people talking about? Some sinister things going on behind the scenes that involves a lot of little kids. 
that's rings, dog. Collaborations, associations. I came, I've been telling y'all that for the last four or five years. That's why they keep shadow banning me. These people is in a network. Just think about the Underground Railroad, but on, on the dark side. That's what they in, and it connects through a lot of different industries and 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 high 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 people in high positions and in high places, bro. And they don't want us to see that. And the people that get targeted is the people who exposes it on every level. They got stations in every city, every state, every country. This ain't no joke, bro. <laughs> <laughs> These people is trying to play for keeps, but we always know who gonna win on earth as it is in heaven today and forevermore. We always gonna win. The light gonna always shine. The dog shine the brightest white light on darkness in every corner, even in our blind side. We just gotta keep proving it because they don't understand. When I tell y'all there's a possession that stands between people's consciousness and subconsciousness where they blinded to what the reality really is, a narcissist will destroy their whole life trying to destroy yours. They don't understand when people say if 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 you tending to somebody else's garden, who tending to yours? Because they over there in your garden. That's why they don't understand that they whole garden is flooding. Why are they in yours? They don't understand. <laughs> they don't understand, child. That's the problem. Baby, but when you get the realization that the majority of the people don't understand, you be shocked. Like, y'all just don't know how I be looking some days. I just be like, you know what? Like, I posted that uh, reel of me just looking, like, looking with my eyes. That's how I be feeling on the inside. Like, somebody pranking me. This a joke. It's a nightmare. I'm going to wake up in one minute and they're going to say, surprise, kiki, kiki. And it's going to be like a little party or something and be like, girl, we were just playing a trick on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh child mm. y'all just don't know y'all better listen to them rap this songs the people is telling y'all what's going on and guess what hollywood is starting to sound more like hollywood with a whole bunch of gangsters and mobsters and pedialites and 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 and, and, and freaks come out at night <laughs> And they got child children worshiping that. That well, didn't the Bible tell y'all put no other gods before me? What did that say? That's what they doing. But they want to try to make it seem like it's some people's religion. Like, oh, it's voodoo, baby. Let me tell you something. Christians do the worst kind of magic. They do the worst kind. So stop that. Stop that. It say judge not least ye be judged. But part of that y'all don't understand. <laughs> Leave the people alone. <laughs> Tend to your garden and check on y'all children because they're going to be having a fit when all of this stuff finish about Hollywood, y'all. They're going to realize none of this stuff was real. The people was playing in their face. The people were some plants and actors and stuff, and they wasn't sincere by nothing. And they was leading the whole world to the pits of hell. <laughs> so low vibration of the Lord can't even hear the people pray or shit. You got to stand on the mountaintop like Martin Luther King screamed for the Lord to hear you. We so low to the ground. They had them flip. They got everything bad, good, and good, bad. You got to be a man with lipstick on to even get a spot on TV no matter how talented you is. Come on now, y'all. Wake up. Y'all know that shit ain't real. Yeah, I know that. Just sit up back and think about it right now. Like, sit down, get you a cigarette, get you some wine, get you some weed, whatever it is you do. And just really think about what's going on in the world. Don't get depressed now, because the shit ain't real. But just think about it and be like, they really was trying to play in our face. Like, when that moment right there hit you, like this dude told me one time, the time when he realized he really was a grown-ass man, and he was down there for it, he was like, it just hit me one day, like, dog, you is grown. You a grown-ass man, like, nigga, you really grown. He was like, man, I just kept saying it just hit me, like, all of a sudden, like, nigga, you grown. Like, you is grown. Like, you are, you're not a boy no more. You a man. He was, he had to be, I think it was like, let me think about how much how old my kids are. It had to be like twenty something years, maybe. It had to be, but it was like I'm trying to think of how old he would have been then. So he was well, he was close to forty. 
uh, a little over for it when he said this. And I'm looking at him like, dog, you just realized this shit. <laughs> but see, I had to take care of me at an early age. I had grown folks' responsibilities, bro. I had other people burdens on my back. So I felt grown even when I went wrong. You know what I'm saying? But I just was handling my business with the support system I had. You know, I can't say it wasn't nothing. But I had one, but the intentions of it, I, you always want to check the intentions, y'all. People intentions mean a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Something could look so good for you, and the best thing could be in your life could be your worst nightmare, y'all. You got to know the intentions of people. I can't stress that enough. Get out your emotions. Get a little bit in your logic. And try to see their intentions. That'll save a lot of lives. I ain't really want nothing. I just want to chop it up with my people. I love y'all for real play pals. And guess what? Peace. <laughs>